The world is in a race against time to tackle a deadly health emergency, Mpox virus. Magonjwa ni ya mubai kuna kamata mutoto mubaya ikamu ikamu alibisha sana. We have a large number of cases. The cases are increasing. The mortality rate is higher than we would tolerate. This is not just an African issue. Mpox is a global threat, a menace that knows no boundaries. The current outbreak of the virus is driven by a mutated strain known as Clade 1. What we have learned is that the rich countries will take the vaccines and keep it for their own people. Manufacturers are not necessarily going to develop vaccines for products that don't have a good market and are not going to make them money. The Clade 1 outbreak started in the Democratic Republic of Congo in 2023 with thousands of cases and hundreds of deaths now confirmed. Mpox continues to spread in Africa and beyond. Apart from the DRC, it has been confirmed in Burundi, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Kenya, Liberia, Mozambique, Nigeria, the Republic of Congo, Rwanda, South Africa, Uganda and Morocco. Mpox has also been reported in Sweden and the Philippines, Thailand and Pakistan. The skin lesion disease comes from I don't know where. I can't even remember the name of the disease. We were told that it comes after eating game, but neither I nor my child have eaten game. Epox, which is formerly known as monkeypox, is caused by a virus known as monkeypox virus. It belongs to the same family as the virus that causes smallpox. Epox is a zoonotic disease. This means it spreads between animals and people. The virus was first discovered in colonies of monkeys kept for research in Copenhagen, Denmark in 1958. The first human case was found in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, there have been outbreaks around the world, particularly in West and Central Africa. People get infected through skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected parcel, animal, or a surface where the virus has dropped. Experts say sometimes rodents also harbor the virus. The disease is deadly. It has no specific cure. Mpox essentially is a neglected tropical disease. It's a disease that primarily affects people in Africa. However, patients with strong immune system and those that have no skin disease recover more quickly with supportive care and pain control measures. Those at higher risk of severe infection include people with severely weakened immune systems, infants, people with a history of eczema, and pregnant women. Health workers are also at higher risk of exposure to the virus. Mpox causes rash, fever, sore throat, headache, and muscle aches. Other symptoms include back pain, low energy, swollen lymph nodes, and skin lesions. There are two types of the virus that cause Mpox, that is, Clade 1 and Clade 2. Clade 1 is more severe with higher mortality rate. It's behind the current outbreaks in DRC and other countries. In August, the World Health Organization declared the virus a global health emergency because of the growing number of cases and rapid spread across borders. Coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. This is not the first time WHO has designated Mpox a global health emergency. It made a similar declaration in 2022 amid rising cases of CLAD2 strain of the virus. In May 2023, the worldwide emergency was declared over because the number of cases was declining. However, cases soon started to rise again, especially in Africa. Many experts say ending the emergency was premature. DRC remains the epicenter of the virus. 
It's compounded by years of armed conflict and mass displacements of people. So far this year, the country has recorded more than 27,000 suspected MPOX cases and more than 1,300 deaths. Most confirmed cases are among children under the age of 10. We also know that since the 1980s, no vaccination has been given to the younger de generation. They are not protected. So that's why um, in Africa, a lot of the young people are very sick with late one because they do not have resistance as we as the older people has who has been vaccinated against um, smallpox. DRC and other African countries are struggling to get sufficient MPOX vaccines. The disease continues to spread. So there definitely is a dire need for vaccines because the vaccines are the things that stop the transmission chains, right? Because people are infecting other people and before they infect others, we want to stop the, train of, the chain of, of transmission. On September 5th, the Democratic Republic of Congo received its first batch of MPOX vaccines. The 99,000 doses of vaccines were delivered by the European Union, with another 110,000 doses expected as of the time of this recording. These are far short of the 3 million doses officials estimate are needed to bring the outbreak in DRC under control. The vaccine delivery came nearly two years after the United States and some European nations began stockpiling doses for their population to preempt outbreaks. We know that these, um, uh, uh, the shortage of vaccines are quite high in the Africa um, context. And um, again, no one really cared about it. And all of a sudden, what we see, and we saw the same with COVID, these vaccines are now being hoarded by the first world countries to try to protect their own people if they get um, been infected with, with MPOX. The current fight against MPOX echoes the difficulties African countries faced during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, particularly the late and restrictive access to vaccines. Oh, we haven't learned a lot. We, what we have learned about the COVID is that the rich countries will take the vaccines and keep it for their own people and the people like Africa, as long as it's not affecting first world countries, will be left out in the dark. And, um, you know, we have to struggle and to fight and, and to get vaccines um, into the country. And also these vaccines are quite expensive. You know, it's around about, a, a, if I'm not mistaken, it's around about $100 per vaccine. So it's quite, it's not a cheap vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, Africa imports 99% of vaccines required to tackle various diseases despite carrying heavy burdens of infections. Only five countries in the continent, Egypt, Morocco, Senegal, South Africa and Tunisia have facilities to produce vaccines. Many countries in Africa are reliant on donations or donor-driven international initiatives for their vaccine requirements. The MPOX outbreaks have once again exposed the imbalance. We are still working blindly in Africa. Uh, we don't have uh, the required knowledge about MPOX, natural history, uh, transmission dynamics, uh, risk factors of MPOX, and essentially you need to understand your context. You need to understand your disease for you to develop or design preventive strategies against such a disease. And that's a significant limitation. And that tells us that we need to invest in uncovering, understanding our disease uh, better. Experts also decry international bureaucratic bottlenecks and unwillingness to transfer technical know-how for vaccine production to African countries as well as high cost of manufacturing. The producer manufacturer Bavarian Nordic of the, the um, one of the vaccines, they have said that they are start they're they're planning on having discussions with some African manufacturers to transfer the technology to them, which is definitely a welcome step. We're very happy to hear that. But what we also need to see is not just 
um, sort of the end point of the manufacturing process, which we call fill and finish, which is like transferring just like, you know, when they have the, the product and they put it in the vials. No, what we would like to see is from the beginning, actually production of the drug substance. So transferring the technology of even the, the whole end to end process of pr production. So we would like to see that kind of technology transfer happened to other African manufacturers as well. There must be um, a lab development from scratch in Africa. Africa has got great people in Africa, professors, good institutions in Africa, able to do exactly these type of vaccines or uh, manufacture the vaccines from scratch. So you are now unfortunately sitting now with a lot of other hurdles. So most of it might be due to political instability in some countries. We know the corruption. We know all of that. And this, this is unfortunately, again, part of what will play against Africa to try to help setting up these type of, of manufacturers. As vaccination is set to begin in the Democratic Republic of Congo, experts warn that a lack of sustained coordinated global efforts against MPOX could portend greater risks in the future.